Hi guys, welcome back to Kirshner Farmstead. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to clean the inside of the oven door on a Samsung stove. Alright guys, so what happened is Kirsty was making a baking soda batch for German pretzels and it bubbled over and got between the two panes of glass on the front of our stove. Now today I'm going to be showing you with five easy items how to clean that, okay? You're going to need a yardstick, a flour sack towel or just a towel that you don't want to save because after this you're not going to want to keep it, a couple rubber bands to hold it on the yardstick, you'll be wrapping it around that okay nice and uh narrow that way it can fit in there a butter knife or flathead screwdriver but i had a butter knife so that's what i'm using today and that is to loosen the hinges i'll show you in a second and some dawn dish soap and water in a spray bottle okay and you're going to wet the cloth with the dawn dish soap and uh clean out between the panes let's get started all right, all right so you're gonna get your oven opened Right here, there's like a safety hinge. You can take take the uh, screwdriver or butter knife, pry these open. Okay, nice, quick, and easy. See how they just pop open there? Nice and easy, okay? You're gonna stand the door up, almost back closed. Lift it right out of there, look at that. We'll get it laid up here. Look at that, guys. Okay, so now this is the neat part. On the bottom of the door, okay, they designed it to be able to get in there. I don't know why they didn't design it to keep stuff out of there, but they. Uh, this is the design. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet. Let's put that down a bit. We're going to wet this down and this is going to be going in between those two panes of glass, okay? Real hard to reach, but not with this. Okay, now, it takes a little bit to get it in there. All right, guys, so we had to cut our flour sack towel in half. It was a little bit too thick to get in there, so we just cut it down. Put it back on and now we're gonna get started so it's soaked in the dawn dish soap with water almost knocked some canned goods off the end of the counter all right so you're gonna work it in there okay now once it's in there you're gonna to try to cover everything kind of scrub it around in there okay it's gonna take a little bit of work okay and it might need to sit for two to three minutes, okay, while it soaks it in. But as you can see, it gets all the grime out. And there's a second side over there, so I'll get that side next. If you guys have any tips or tricks to cleaning your stove or keeping it good to go in the kitchen, please put them in the comments below. If you're new to our channel, make sure you like and subscribe, Kirstner Farmstead. And uh, we love hearing from you, so leave those comments below. All right, guys, so there's another pane of glass in there, um, the outer pane. So we unscrewed the three bottom screws to get the last of these streaks out. We open that up, and I'll be able to wipe all this out of there. Be as good as new. Kirsty can keep on baking. And she'll have a nice clean oven. Look at that, guys. It's good as new. All right, guys. So a couple of things we learned today. There is three panes of glass on this door, okay? There's the two inner panes and this outer cover. Two inner panes, are, it works great to clean them with the yardstick. The outer pane, removing those three screws, just reaching in there real quick with the cloth, is uh, nice and simple. It gets it done. It looks great. Uh, now we're going to get the stove door put back on and see how she looks. Alright guys, 
So we got the door mounted back on. We got the hinges relocked on there. Make sure you do that, okay? Uh, that's very important. And the glass is nice and clean, okay? And uh, that's all for today. Thank you again for joining us another day on Kirshner Farmstead. And I hope you learned something and I hope this helps you out in your kitchen. And uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and make sure to comment below. We love hearing from you guys. So have a good evening. Good night.